Next up for our viewing delight is race 29, the Tipperary Grade 2 hurdle, over two miles. Five-year-olds and ups. So number one is Tower Heist for Paul Rhodes. Two is Albert's Eyes for Molly at Surfer. Three, Deep Red Eyes for Molly at Surfer. Fidway for Ghost Sapper is four. Jewish Jumper for Stu Gray is five. Phillipstown Sphinx is Darren Howes is six. Time for a show, Joshua Sutherland seven. Aiming eight, Earth for Darren Thompson is eight. And nine is Winter Queen for Jim Murray. So just nine of them in this G2. That's a change from a maiden. As we go around the track here. Here we go. And... The nine are lined up and they're away. So over two miles should be fairly quick and swift. And we're going to be led to the first by Deep Red Eyes. So Rip first with a little bit slow. Took a turn to land. So as we're waiting for them all to settle down, Jewish Jumper's sticking his nose in front at the moment. Nobody really wants to take this on. Nobody travels a couple of furlongs. And it's Jewish Jumper that's got over towards the fence around this left turn. So Jewish Jumper from Phillipstown Sphinx pushing through his deep red eyes. The one against the rail is Tower Heist and the White Silks. The outside of that is Winter Queen. And just being followed through his Fidway. And there's a few of them not getting much room here. Out wide is still his Aiming Earth and the Blue Silks White Sleeves. And just towards the rear is Albert Eyes and time for a show at the moment. But Jewish Jumper is going to lead them to the next. Gets over the second. This is the remainder. Albert's Eyes is a little bit sticky towards the rear. So it's Jewish Jumper that's going to bring them alongside the grandstand. We go over this third. Everybody skips over that one. So Jewish Jumper by about three to Deep Red Eyes and Tower Heist. And about a half a length back to Town Sphinx and Tower Heist who's just dropping back a little bit now. And the outside of those is Aiming Earth. But a shuffling around towards the back from time for a show, Fidway and Albert's eyes. But it's still Jewish Jumper that's leading them by about two to three. From deep red eyes. Supposedly, I called this horse uh, something else last week. The commentators said I couldn't even call my own horse. Oh, and he's just gone through the top of that hurdle there. He obviously was listening to me. But it's Jewish Jumper that still leads from Aiming Earth out wide. Phillips Town Sphinx on the inside of that. And then coming towards the fences, Winter Queen. And Tower Heist wider still. The one that's getting a better run up the inside is now Deep Red Eyes. Time for a show. Fitway, Winter Queen. They're all having to chase down Jewish Jumper at the moment, but we're through uh, half the hurdles here. Just under seven furlongs left to run. And the chasing pack are all jostling for position. And it's Jewish Jumper being joined now by Albert Eyes as they go over the fifth, they land together. The other one that's moving well now is Tower Heist on the outside. Jewish Jumper's being pushed along. Only five and a half furlongs to go, but these two are now Albert's Eyes and Jewish Jumper are pulling away a little bit from Tower Heist, who's decided not to go too soon. They jump the six, a better jump by Jewish Jumper, gets him back into the lead. Albert's Eyes went up the back of him. And the one outside is Deep Red Eyes, getting confused with the eyes. The eyes have it. And then Tower Heist. And then moving better now is Winter Queen, but having to be pushed outside. Phillips Town Sphinx is under a lot of pressure towards the rear, but it's Jewish Jumper still leading from Albert Size in second. Moving well on the outside is Winter Queen. Coming between those two horses is Aiming Earth. So with just under three furlongs left to run, it's Winter Queen that starts to pull away now from Aiming Earth and Albert Size. Not sure Jewish Jumper's got anything left. Time for a show. They're all moving around here looking for room. Fidway's got a little bit to do, but time for a show's got nowhere to go as they go over the penultimate the 7th of the 8th and it's Winter Queen that's taken them through this. Winter Queen from Aiming Earth, Albert's Eyes, time for a show we're inside the final furlong now and it's Winter Queen, Albert's Eyes, Aiming Earth time for a show, they're all over together, they land together all four together, it's Albert's Eyes, Winter Queen, Aiming Earth, Albert's Eyes has just got a neck in front here, but here comes Aiming Earth just on the line and Aiming Earth I think just got up there, although just on the outside time for a show was doing well four across the line together they'll all be sharing their positions there Let's have a quick look at the replay. Ooh, and it is Aiming Earth that's showing up. And Albert's eyes second time for a show third. We've had a couple of dub he dead heats so far this week. Let's see what happens here. Let's do his jumper at the rear and last. Oh no, there's Phillips down. And it is no, it's just by a short head all round. Aiming Earth gets it for. Darren Thompson just gets up there. Albert Sides for Molly at Surfer was second. Time for a show for Joshua Sutherland was third. Winter Queen for Jim Murray was fourth. And Fidway for Ghost Surfer Stables was fifth.